A new prototype electric car battery could take you a lot farther and last a lot longer. It's the simplest reaction you've ever done. It's one step, everything is commercial and cheap. And it's all thanks to a material companies are trying to get rid of. Turning an industrial waste product into the next generation of vehicle power? That's breakthrough science. Jeff Pion and his team at the University of Arizona saw an opportunity in an industrial waste product. Graduate student Jared Grable signed on to Pion's team to research the potential of sulfur. The elemental sulfur is produced from petroleum refining. Uh, we have more than we know what to do with, so we actually store it in giant pyramids all over the world, uh, and that just sits outside. Lithium sulfur batteries have the potential to store a lot of energy. But elemental sulfur by itself doesn't last particularly long when you make it into a battery. Pion and his team kept the lithium side of the battery and made some changes to the other half. Uh, and then on the, the cathode side uh, is the elemental sulfur, which is mixed with uh, some primer and some carbon black. Uh, and we, we make basically an ink uh, and then coat it onto some aluminum. Uh, and then that goes into a coin cell. Uh, and those coin cells are the ones that you see in like your, your key fobs or your garage door opener. The result was a battery with a high capacity and a longer life. The lithium is the expensive part. Replacing a Tesla's lithium-ion battery costs at least $10,000. But because the sulfur is a waste product, the batteries are much cheaper than their lithium-ion competitors. Another big advantage? It allows electric cars to lose a lot of weight. And Pion has other ideas in mind for his super lightweight batteries beyond electric cars. We're thinking uh, for cars, but also the soldier in the field. If you can imagine a soldier having a backpack, that would basically be a paper battery, so to speak, right? That would be great because our battery is going to be much, much lighter uh, than any metal oxide based, uh, you know, type of system. All from a simple chemical reaction from a product most companies throw away. No one had thought that this was possible to let alone make this polymer and have it be stable, but then what it was going to do in the battery. Uh, that's really what's exciting to me because it's, you know, affecting other people. Uh, in a way that I hope would benefit society. Breakthrough Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. To stay up to date on all the latest, greatest research, why not subscribe to ACS?